Hey everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make brown eyes pop. But the thing about blue is it actually makes a lot of different eye colors pop because what it does is it works with the white of your eye to make the white of your eye look more extreme and kind of pops everything else then. So it's a great way just to bring out the color in your eye. We've gone for a little bit of drama here. We've got glitter, we've got liner. It's really, really easy though. Don't worry about it and let's get started. So I've just tested out the colors in this eye, so don't judge it because I've only just kind of whacked them on. I haven't done it precisely or anything. But I'll show you guys how to to create this look on this eye. So the colors that I've chosen today are these four. These are individual shadows. This isn't a palette. I just put these shades together, but I'm sure you can find palettes that have these shades already in it, or you can find your single eyeshadows and kind of put them together. So I tested them on my eyes, but another way that I like to do it is also swatch them on my hand. I try out different combinations. I try to work it in the way that I would apply it on my eye, and that way I can see if they're gonna work really well together. But these are the colors that I came up with. So we have our two neutral shades. These are gonna be our highlight and our crease shade. Ooh, I think my electricity went off for a second there. So we have our highlight and our mid-tone, and then we have our two colors. So we have our lid shade and our contour shade. So highlight, mid-tone, and contour, and then the lid shade. So that's typically how we work with things. And we will be adding in two other shades, because I also always, I like to add in a fade shade. This is our fade shade for the lid. It's more of a kind of a medium blue shade, kind of in between the two shades that we've applied on the lid. And then we also have this peach shade, which we we're gonna be using for our mid-tone fade shade. So this is kind of an add-on. These are optional, but they do make a massive difference. And I see you guys working really hard on your fade shades. I see the work that you're putting in. If you ever wanna send me pictures, I'm always here to help, so just let me know. But I see you guys working really hard on creating these different makeup looks, and I'm very proud of each and every single one of you. The brushes that we're gonna be using today are, as always, the main ones that we always use. These are all individual ones with the black and rose gold. These aren't available in a set but you can always get the black and silver ones, which are available in a set. So this set is gonna be linked in the description box as well as these individually. This is the Blank Canvas nine piece set. It's all the eye brushes that you could possibly need. So if you like doing my money makeup lessons, that's the set that you need. We are gonna prime the lid. I am gonna be using a primer today, not a concealer. I would highly recommend getting yourself a good primer. I spent a long time not getting this primer because I was like, I just wanna find a drugstore alternative, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Nothing beats the Urban Decay Primer. So I just apply a little bit of the back of my hand, then apply it onto the lid. We won't be setting it today. We're actually just gonna be leaving it as it is. I got a lot of people asking me what I mean by that. So basically when I apply a primer, I'll sometimes go in with translucent powder or kind of a neutral eyeshadow, probably the same color as my skin. I'll just apply that over the top of the primer usually is a matte or a satin. And what that does is it creates a powder finish for us to blend over the top of. But today, we're not gonna set it because I want it to be slightly tacky to grab hold of the blue. So once our lids are primed, the first eyeshadow that we're gonna be using is our brown toned one. You can always use your bronzer if you want, your contour shade, whatever it might be. And we're just gonna apply this with a blending brush. I'm gonna be using two different blending brushes. I'm gonna apply with one and then blend out with the other. So keep a nice clean one. Even though it's a little dirty, that's only from blending this eye. It actually is a clean brush. You're gonna take your blending brush and pick up a bit of product. And I just kind of tap it in there just to pick it up. Make sure there's no creases. And then we're gonna start doing little circular motions, holding it in the lower part of the brush, but not the bottom. So just the lower part of the brush. We're gonna start doing little circular motions. Don't worry if it goes on a little uneven to begin with, because once we start to blend, it'll blend out for us. Don't worry about bringing it down onto the lid, that's totally fine. I actually find it works better if you bring it down a little further onto the lid. Just creates a nice base for the blue to stick to. And then gives you a nice clean line to blend with. I'm also gonna be blending out a little further on this outer edge, because I'm gonna take a wipe and clean it up afterwards. So don't worry if you brought it out too far. Typically you keep your eyeshadows in from this point. So brush alongside the edge of the nose, edge of the eye and up to the brow. This is where you'd blend in from. But I'm gonna blend it out a little further because I'll clean up afterwards. Holding the brush really far down the handle, take a little bit more and start to build it up. Because we're holding it further down the handle, it'll give you a softer finish. So it won't be as heavily applied and that way you'll get a nice smooth blend. Next, you're gonna take a clean blending brush, make sure there's nothing on this, and just go around the edges. Now, I wanna just go underneath the brows, but before I do that, I'm gonna take my brow pencil, and I'm just gonna run this underneath the bottom part of my brow. Love, love, love this brow pencil so much. 
Now that we've designed underneath the brow, I can highlight. So I'm gonna go in with our little highlighter. This is Naked Lunch with a very small little brush. And I'm just gonna pat this underneath the arch of the brow. Next, we're gonna add in our fade shade. This is totally optional, but it does make a massive difference. If you're gonna be applying a blush, just use your blush, because that's basically all this is. We're gonna use the clean brush that we've been kind of blending out with, the little white one, and we're just gonna apply a little tiny bit on the tip of the brush, tap off the excess, and then just go around the edges. You can't really tell that I'm really doing anything, particularly on camera, but it does make a difference, so I would recommend doing it. And what you're doing is you're just going around the edges where the highlight meets that crease shade. You wanna very barely touch the skin and just run it over that area. So I'm holding the brush really far down the handle so we get that really soft effect. The further you hold down on the handle, the softer it's gonna be. If I apply it up here, I'm gonna get a really strong pigment because there's a lot of pressure. Holding it further down will release that pressure, give you a softer finish. So that's all our kind of main work done. We're gonna move on to the blue next. Look how beautiful this blue is. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to start off with a flat brush and I'm going to apply this on the center part of the lid. So right where the pupil is, you just wanna tap that above. And why I do this is because I really want this blue to work with the pupil to really bring out the color in the eye. So whatever kind of golden colors or brown colors that you have in your eye, this will make it pop for you. So I'm just gonna apply it on the center because that's where I want the majority of the pigmentation to be. I would recommend doing your eyes first. There's nothing worse than getting blue eyeshadow all over your perfect foundation. And then you can work it to the inner corner. Just patting the whole time. This is why it's a good idea to bring that brown a little lower than you usually would so you can go over the top of it with the blue. I'm now gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna mix up the blue that we've already applied and I'm gonna mix it up with a deeper blue just so you can get like a contoured effect. And we're gonna apply this on this outer edge just to fill in this area. Once you apply the deeper shade, you can then go in with the original flat brush that you applied the blue with and just kind of tap that over the top. There really shouldn't be too much product on here, but it's just about bringing the two shades together. And then you can add in a fade shade again. So to fade the two shades together, the two blues, just apply a different tone of a blue. It doesn't really matter what kind of blue it is, but I just find that it helps to kind of bring it all together. So just tap this like in the center where the two meet. It doesn't make that much of a difference. It's very subtle, but sometimes I feel like the most subtle differences are the best. I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just wrap it around my finger and then just blend away this edge. Make sure it's nice and sharp. Once you've cleaned up on this outer edge, you can always use this to apply eyeliner then. So like use that line to create that nice wing. Totally up to yourself. I actually think I will apply an eyeliner even though I don't think eyeliner suits me, but we're gonna do it anyway. Let me grab my eyeliner. So this side, I've just added a very subtle wing. This color actually isn't that dark, so it kind of blends in with the blue, but I kind of like that effect. It's very subtle, so I'm gonna do the same on this side, but you can obviously choose whatever works for you. There's a lot of noise there for a second, so I had to stop recording, but I've just applied the eyeliner, give it a little bit of a wing on the edge, and also applied a bit of highlighter on that inner corner as well, just to make sure it matches. Let's apply some glitter. So what I'm gonna be using is this pigment. This is by Wet n Wild. It's the loose pigment in the shade Unicorn Wishes which is adorable. And I'm also gonna be applying a little bit of glue just to make sure it kind of sticks to something. So this is a Dazzle Lock Glitter Glue by Smolder Cosmetics. A really, really good one, you guys. I would highly recommend it, and it's really inexpensive as well. And I'm just going to tap this on the center point here and wait for it to go tacky. And it takes about 20 seconds. Now keep the lids nice and smooth. Try not to move your eyes too much because you'll get little creases. We don't want that. I love these pigments because it's a little salt shaker. You don't lose any glitter. Gonna take a little pencil brush, a little bit of that glitter, which is so beautiful. Wait till you see this glitter, it's so pretty. And just tap it over the top. Oh my gosh, have you seen anything more beautiful? Really? 
Oh, it's so pretty, 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 pretty. I love it. Such a gorgeous color. So what I'm gonna do is finish off with my mascara and the rest of my makeup and all that jazz, and I'll be right back. Just a little bit of a quick change. I added in my foundation, highlighter, blush, and all that kind of stuff. The blush that I'm wearing is the same that we used in the crease. I've also matched up my lipstick in order to make sure it kind of brings the whole look together. It's a really great way to make sure that you feel more confident wearing color is if everything else is very samey, you can get away with wearing like that pop of color. So you've got that pop of blue, but everything else is the same kind of peachy, bronzy tone. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of something underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna take a pencil brush a bit of that shadow that we used in the crease. Squashing down my pencil brush like this, I'm just gonna then apply it underneath the lashes. And you just kinda wanna aim for your lashes just to get the majority of the product on there. I cannot see what I'm doing, but I'm just aiming in that direction. And then you can open up the brush, hold it further down on the handle, and just blend it out then. You can even take a little bit of that blush and just very lightly go around the edges. So add in that fade shade underneath and the final step then is just to apply a little bit more highlighter on that inner corner this is the same highlighter that i have on my cheeks so i'm just gonna pat that in so that is pretty much the finished look it's quite dramatic but obviously if you take away the glitter if you take away the liner not heavy highlighter and, and keep everything quite muted you can kind of get away with it i hope that you guys enjoyed this definitely check out the other videos on the screen and any videos you'd like to request definitely leave a comment i'd love to hear what your eye color is and i'll see you guys in my next one